Good morning, oh, good, good morning. morning. Oh, I can't be bothered with the paper. Uh, do you know what happened to me? I'll, I'll get some food in just a little no, no, piece. No, 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 a I little piece? There we go, little piece. Stop right more. there. Stop right there. Richard, can't you see what you're doing? You are bothering Felicia. No. If you'd like to have breakfast with Felicia, I suggest you walk up and say, excuse me, Felicia, would you care for some company this morning? And the fact that you put your fork in her food, that's a big no. How she should have dealt with it is just said, Richard, I'm trying to have some quiet time. I will meet up with you a little bit later. Would you mind if I just read the paper right now? How do you feel about that, Felicia? <laughs> I think I would have said, you know what? This is fascinating. But truly, I need to take care of some business and get your fork out of my breakfast. <laughs> We're going to have to sit down with Kenny and discuss exactly what he needs to accomplish in the next quarter. It's very, it's vital. Oh, hang on. I've got to take it. Hello? Uh, oh, the plumber came. Oh, Richard. Wait a minute. Use good cell phone etiquette. Put people first. Can't you see? You're having a meeting. If you're expecting a very important call, step away from the table. If you do have to take the phone call, just say, Felicia, will you please excuse me? This is a very important phone call from home. Would you excuse me? And then take the call away from the table. And from a colleague's point of view, you have to give them space. I mean, if there, there yes. is something crucial happening in their personal lives, it's okay for him to walk away from the table Absolutely. and need to understand, fine, take right. a few minutes so I can have your concentration when you get back. Just say, please excuse me, I have an emergency, I have to take this call. Please I excuse me, there's an emergency, I have to take this call. See you later. <laughs> We've spent so much time together yeah, and we have. I feel fun. like you really know me a oh, little bit. Kind. Do you mind if I ask you some advice? Go ahead, anything, what about okay. it? I trust you, I respect you so Thank much. You. But and, and you know this relationship that I've had with this, this no, man. Not good, not good. Well, it hasn't been good, and suddenly it's taken a turn for the worse, and he, he's now talking about his going back to his, his old girlfriend. Felicia, you're getting much too personal. But this is somebody I trust at work. Why I is that wrong? No, but he's definitely uncomfortable. Yeah. Look at his body yeah. language. You're revealing too much of your personal life. But can't You've you trust only Cox? known him a week. There are some situations where you might feel comfortable about discussing certain topics, but not your most intimate topics. Felicia, Richard, the rule of the road is respect your colleagues' boundaries. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Cheers.